Today I will share with you my best attempt so far to leverage AI to make data driven decisions that can make you a winner in many different fields. I will also involve my ChatGPT AI agents into this mix so they can further iterate and discuss to find the best ID. This is of course only scratching the surface of what is possible but I think it's a great way to get started. I also have a surprise at the end of the video so let's just dive in. Today's data source is gonna be YouTube actually. We have other sources we can pick from but we are gonna start with YouTube. I think this is a very good thing because we have this free API we can use. So what you want to do is find basically all the channels you think you can get some good data for. For this example I'm just gonna pick five very popular tech YouTube channels. So we have Marcus Brownlee, we have Linus Tech Tips, Unbox Therapy, Mr. Who's the Boss and The Verge. What we need from these channels is a YouTube channel ID. So to get this you just want to go to the channel, right click, go to inspect and when you get this pop up here you can go to sources and just click on the thing you can see here. In the HTML code here you can just type control F, search for channel ID, right? And here you can see it. This is a bit small but you can maybe can zoom in. Yeah, you can see it here. If I search for channel ID, you can see here channel ID. So what I want to do is just copy that for every single channel we have. And I'm just going to save it here. So you can see I've saved five channel IDs here. And when you have all of those, you are ready to go to the next step. To start fetching data from the channels we just picked out, we need to use something called the YouTube Data API. I'm quickly going to show you how you can set this up. So for this you need a Google account, you want to head over to console.cloud.google.com. The first thing you want to do is go up here and click create a new project. Just give it a name and click create. Then you're just going to click on APIs and services. Click on the library on the left column here. Scroll down until you find the YouTube data API v3. Click on that. Click on enable. Next you want to click on the right top corner here, click on create credentials. Select public data and click next. And in the next window you should have your API key ready to go. We also need an API key for OpenAI, so just go to platform openai.com and create your account. Click on personal and here you can go to view API keys. Here you will find your API key or you can create a new one. To fetch all the data we are gonna get from YouTube, we need a Python script. This is because we want to find correlations, we want to use OpenAI, we want to use GPT-4 to find those correlations and analyze the data. So for this we have made a quite a simple Python script. Here you can see uh, the channel IDs I have collected. Uh, of course we can fill in our OpenAI keys. I want to show you the prompts I'm using for this. So the first prompt is just going to be here's the context and I'm going to feed in the data. Uh, from the data above rewrite 10 videos, rewrite the 10 videos with the most views in the following format. So we got title views, likes, comments, duration. And then we move on to our second step. You are a YouTube and data analysis expert. Your task is to analyze and find the 10 most popular videos based on the views likes ratio so we're just gonna divide views over likes to find the most popular videos so without the word news because i don't want any news uh, content that's just my personal preference and then we get to the next step you are still a youtube and data analyst expert now your task is to look for correlations to find trending topics from the data Analyze the data and find correlations to create trending topics you can use to brainstorm six out of the box and simple YouTube video ideas. This could be blog post ideas, TikTok, shorts, other ideas you want to do. And for the final step we have you are a YouTube behaviors and behavior psychologist. Your task is to evaluate the ideas from the data, right? Create three best super intriguing fear based YouTube ideas that have the best chance to get most engagement. Focus on fear and fear of missing out. And that is our last step and this will of course get saved to a file named rate video ID. This is not the end though because I have another step. On the next step we are gonna take those three IDs over to our... Um, chat GPT agents that are gonna discuss those ideas. So you can see hello agent 11 I'm agent 7. I'm ready to rate, read your best ideas now. 
So the prompt for this is quite simple. So tell Engine 7 about your three best content ideas. Discuss back and forward, asking for feedback. And we're gonna save it to the best idea.txt. We're also gonna send an email to me. So that's gonna start, hello Chris. So this is gonna send an email to me with the best ID. And HN7 has a bit of a different prompt, but it's basically the same. He's gonna be more of the editor, he's gonna be very critical of the ideas. This is to get the conversation going, to try to iterate and improve it the most. And that is basically the whole structure of this. So this is fully autonomous, so it's very easy to use. And I think it's time just to run this and see what kind of ideas we can end up with. If you don't want to make this uh, Python script yourself, I'm gonna give full access on my YouTube membership, so check out this. Just wanted to quickly plug my YouTube membership where we have over 45 videos now. We have tutorials for script like the one I'm using today. Check out the link in the description below. Let's go back to the video. Okay, so I'm ready to run this now. I'm just gonna press enter. And this is gonna take a while, I'm guessing like a couple, three, four minutes, I'm not quite sure. So I'm just gonna let this run and we're gonna go through the results after together. Okay, so that was the script finished, so let's go all the way to the top and see this. So here, basically the first thing we see here is all the con collected data. And then we go on to save this data to a CSV file, yeah, and we're gonna rewrite those stats to text file. And here you can see after analyzing the given data, I've calculated the views likes ratio for each video. Okay, so you can see custom Nintendo Switch in 53 seconds. So what you can see here is a views like ratio, and this is mentioned down here. Note that the lower views likes, likes ratio indicate higher popular based on this metric. So the lower this ratio is, the higher, the better the video is. Because it's basically if you get a lot of likes and you get a lot of views, the number will be lower. So we got Apple Vision Pro, is it worth 3500? Apple vs Samsung customer service battle, living in third person? <laughs> I don't know what kind of videos this is. VVDC23 travel log. Uh, this footage shouldn't even exist. <laughs> okay, so that was interesting. So now we move on to analyzing the given data. I identified correlations and extracted trending topics, which can be used to brainstorm six out of the box and simple YouTube video ideas. So we got uh, trending topic, gaming and customization, customizing your gaming console in minutes, easy DUI skins and decals. Top 5 flagship phone compared on performance. We got uh, 5 strange but su surprisingly useful features in everyday tech gadgets. Secrets of the tech industry. Exclusive factory tours. <laughs> Alright. So that is something. Uh, but now we move on to what I kind of like the most. And that is based on the data and focusing on fear and fear of missing out. Here are three intriguing fear-based YouTube video ideas. So these were quite good. I had a look at those. So the first one was the dark side of smartphones. How your privacy is at risk and what you can do to protect yourself. I like that. That's a good one. Uh, this one I didn't really like. So VR addiction, the hidden dangers of escaping into a digital world. All right. Is that too bad? It's kind of interesting. Uh, but this one was also my favorite, uh, so 10 tech gadgets you didn't know could be hacked and how to secure them before it's too late. That's a good idea. I love that idea. So that is very interesting. I would watch that. Baby monitors, home securing systems. That's very interesting. Okay, so then we move on to our agents. So here we have agent 7. Hello agent 11, I'm agent 7. I'm ready to read your best ideas. And here you can see those three latest ideas are going to be fed into the chat here. So please go ahead and critique these ideas so we can prove them to agree on the best one. Okay, I have reviewed your content ideas. Here are my thoughts. The dark side of smartphones. This is a relevant topic and many are concerned about their privacy. I think we should emphasize more on solutions and how to take control of their privacy. VR addiction, this is an interesting topic, but I believe it might be too niche for our broader audience. 
We want to create content that appeals to a larger demographic. Mm -hmm. 10 tech editors you didn't know could be hacked. This idea has potential because it could generate curiosity and urgency in viewers. But let's make sure we provide actionable tips for users to secure their devices. I'm leaning towards third ID. Okay, so here's some feedback. And uh, I would also lean towards the third ID. So they upgraded this to 10 gadgets you know could you didn't know could be hacked. Act now to secure your devices. And I'm also leaning to you towards the tr third ID. And basically, uh, they agreed on the third ID. I would suggest we. But before we finalize, I would suggest considering including a short introduction in the video the importance of cybersecurity in today's world. Yeah, that, that's not, not a bad idea. Okay, thank you, Agent7, for your valuable suggestion. Okay, I believe we have our best ID. That is good. So I'll proceed with sending the email and saving this ID. Thanks for your guidance and col collaboration, Agent7. So I really like this chat. So here you can see email sent successfully. Save to bestid.txt. And here you can see a copy of the mail. So let's take a look at the email they sent me. I might have to zoom in a bit here. We might not catch all of it, but uh, can you see this? Let me zoom in a bit more. So today's best content idea. To Chris, yeah, from Chris. <laughs> Hello, Chris. We collaborated and agreed on the best content idea for your YouTube channel, focusing on fear and FOMO. The idea is this, 10 catch, yeah, 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 we know that. And we get a description. We believe this idea has potential to get it high engagement, provide valuable information to our viewers. We look forward to hearing your thoughts. Best, Agent 11 and Agent 7. So that is quite cool, right? So you can get this. Since the, since the data from the YouTube API is always live, we will always have uh, fresh data. I don't know how these tech channels update their content, but like if we check back in a week, we could probably get a different idea. What we also can do is just run this many times and collect all the ideas. Because we will get a slightly different result each time, right? Uh, but I just found this very interesting and like I said in the beginning, uh, this is just scratching the surface of what we can do with this. Uh, I can improve the script, I can improve the prompts, there's a lot of things I can improve here. So uh, I have one more surprise I wanted to show you. So this is what I wanted to show you. So I created this channel here, GPT and me. So this is basically gonna be me for testing out these different ideas I'm gonna get from the script. So I did this earlier today, uh, just put it up. So this is the hidden dangers of ChatGPT. So basically this is a video I created from an ID from the chatbots, right? So I thought it turned out pretty cool. So let's have a quick listen. Picture this, you're walking down the street, locked in deep conversation with someone who understands you like no one else. It's fast. It's stimulating and it's addictive. The catch? That someone is not a person. It's ChatGPT, an AI friend who could be silently reshaping our thoughts, emotions, and relationships as easily as your fingertips glide across your screen. Are we on the verge of crossing a digital Rubicon? Let's find out. Isn't it weird? You're chatting with this freakishly human-like AI, and you start feeling less like a regular human being and more like a character in some digital utopia. There's this burning question deep inside me. Do I end up subconsciously agreeing with ChatGPT more than I would with a fellow human? Simply because my brain secretly thinks the machine can't be wrong? ChatGPT is pretty smooth, I'll give it that. It says things in a way that's just so difficult not to agree with. If you want to watch the full video, head over to the channel. You can find the link in the description below. I created this so if you want to follow along how this experiments with the chatbots and the data collection is gonna evolve, you can follow along there. I also will be adding data from other sources like Reddit, Twitter, and we're gonna see what we turn out and how the results are gonna be. And don't forget to check out my membership if you wanna dive deeper into Python scripts like the one I created here. And yeah, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.